Chili Expat family, I'm Jim Dorchak. Today, I'm putting together my solar hot water generators. These are the most awesome, simplified technology out there for making hot water. You don't see this in the United States, not like you see it here. You see, um, this is wide, widely used in Chile. And it's also widely used in, Germ in Germany, in uh, Europe as well. These units here, I actually have three of them, were made in uh, Germany, in Austria. And uh, these are high-tech, high-quality um, hot water generators. They're called Calefaction here. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you what, what it is. Uh, I'm going to get a tube here in a minute, and I'll show it to you and see, you can see what, um, uh, how the workings of it go. Just give me a minute. Okay, what are we talking about? This is a vacuum tube um, hot water heater, basically. It's what they're, they're called, vacuum tube hot water generators. What you have is a copper tube that goes in the middle of this glass tube. And the glass tube has a reflective shield that makes all the sunlight go towards that copper tube. The copper tube is sealed, the glass tube is not. It's, it's got a cap on the top, and it's, it's, it's fairly sealed, it'd be nice if it had a vacuum, but that's not going to happen forever. In either case, inside this copper tube, there's this little ball on the top here, and there's a, 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 a tube, a line that goes all the way to the bottom. And inside that tube, the tube, copper tube is sealed, inside that tube is acetone. Acetone uh, gets hot in here, and it boils at a lower temperature, Rises to the top at a higher temperature. This is actually warm to the touch right now. It's probably, I don't know, 90 degrees Fahrenheit just to touch that. Uh, very comfortable right now, but if it was in full sun, it'd burn. It gets up here, and then it releases its heat into a stream of water that flows past it, or a tank. And then it condensates and goes back to the bottom of the copper tube inside this tube. And that cycle continually repeats all the time, creating a lot of heat. My neighbors have this, uh, the same system. Theirs is a little nicer, a little bigger than mine because it's a commercial operation for uh, um, uh, sheep dairy. And they use the hot water produced by these non-moving part hot water generators, vacuum tube, to pasteurize their milk. It actually will boil water. Um, it, uh, here, well, Celsius 100 degrees is, is boiling. And when I was over there, it was a cloudy day. Today it's a semi-cloudy, semi-sunny day. Uh, we're in the winter time, early spring here. And uh, they were having 95 degrees on theirs, the water coming out of it. Uh, and theirs is probably a 30 tube. Mine are 15 tubes. I got two, I got a set of three 15 tubes. So um, what I'm going to do is, I've been procrastinating putting these together. I bought these from a friend. And I'm going to hook them up in my hot tub put a recirculation pump on it and get me some hot water in there, maybe a little splash time. Anyways, what I have to do is I have to put some soap around this this little ball, this little, uh, ball tube at the end and, and around this end so it slips into the housing correctly. They're both sitting uh, upside down right now. This end should actually be up in the air. So you're going to watch me do that and uh, I'll get it together. I, I probably won't get it hooked up on video today, but when I do, I'll do another video. Okay. A little bit of soap on the ball, a little bit of soap on the tube so that lubricates it going in to the housing. Got some plastic rings here to hold it. Um, and just very gently because you don't want to break these glass tubes. They're durable. I mean, I've watched uh, the manufacturer throwing ice cubes against it for like hail and stuff, but bigger ice cubes than hail. And just put it in there and twist it and in it goes and it's sound bottom of each one is a, this little cup that screws in here and holds it in place when it's when it's standing upright. Let me show you the let me show you the uh, the housing for it. There's where they go in and and uh, let me be able to point here. There are the housings and, and along this this manifold at the top is is the outflow and the inflow or vice versa for water. So the water goes through there, through there either way actually. And uh, I'll probably, whatever, it goes through there and it heats it up and it comes out the other side hot. 
and I've got to put these down these rings into their perspective tubes. Now there is a guy on the internet that I, I um, and his name escapes me and forgive me. I'll put a link to his, his site, uh, his channel. Really nice guy in the United States and it's been oh, probably four or five months since I watched his YouTube video on doing this same thing on his generators. He didn't put his together, he just showed how it worked. And uh, he's getting screaming hot water up there as well in the United States. And that's uh, one of the few places I saw it. And I talked to him about his and some, some issues and questions. And uh, I promised him I'd put this back. But I'll go back to my history and find him. And I apologize for not remembering your name. And uh, and I'll put a link at the bottom of, of uh, in the comment section of this video, okay? Anyway, so that's how it goes. Um, you soap them up and slide them in there and then they stand up so let me go over I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you my one over here skip over here really quick that's already put together I'm gonna move the hot tub here um, we're cleaning up the cabin for rentals um, put a new siding on it here soon and uh, a little dog house around our tanks there the deck will all be cleaned off. Have some skirting around the bottom. Anyhow, um, this is what one fully. This is what a fully assembled solar generator looks like. And that's what a turkey sounds like in Chile. Um, if you look right here, I'm delicate to touch that because it could burn me real easy if it was facing the sun. This is a heat probe here. You can put a. A little heat sen sensor right in that tube there into this tube uh, this one here and then this is where the water comes in or goes out or doesn't really matter there's not a, a flow factor involved with that and then it sits on top of your roof it's the best place for it or you could elevate it on stands which is, is probably a better thing to do when you're in an environment like I am and uh, my reason for that is pigs and sheep and dogs and cats and whatever like to climb on them and break them and they aren't cheap um, oh I guess these are about six eight hundred dollars a piece in the United States here in Chile I bought them second hand so I got a real deal I paid about four hundred dollars for each one um, give or take um, and I thank my friend who sold them to me who who had no use for them this time Anyhow, uh, you, you can, uh, these are Koenig, Koenig Sun. Uh, don't ask me how to spell that. It's kind of German. I don't do German too well. And uh, they are, uh, Aus Austria, Germany is where you can get them. But you can order them in the United States, and the Chinese make them. And they're different quality and different efficiencies. Don't skimp. Get the, the, the best efficiency that you need. So uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching my video. And uh, stand by for more videos. Thank you, everybody, that went and watched my, um, my new announcement on me doing real estate here in Chile. Obviously, I'd done that in the United States for, well, not obviously, but I had had my own business and still actually is opening there, open there in the United States for about 23 years. And I got asked to do it here in uh, Chile by a friend, and I really couldn't say no, and I really wanted something to do. So it worked out good for him. It's working out good for me, too. So we'll see what happens. But anyways, um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thanks for watching and ciao from...